what's going on Pisces how's everybody doing I hope amazing welcome back and for those of you that are new I'm so grateful you're here this is going to be your November 2023 reading so take what resonates make sure you're watching your other placement readings rising moon and Venus placement readings for additional clarity this is for Pisces Sun moon and rising no Sun rising moon and Venus placement here we go it's never going to completely resonate for each and every one of you, but there will be messages within those other placements to bring you additional clarity on all the blessings that are coming your way for the month of November. I'm giving away two free personal readings for the month of November, but I will explain them at the very end of the reading. People have made comments that they don't feel like hearing it in the beginning. It takes too long. I seriously am having such a hard time making everyone happy in my YouTube world. Somebody always seems to have a comment, but it's, I'm trying to take it as they come. And all the blessings that are coming towards my Pisces in the month of November spirit. All right, we've got Phoenix rising, rising up from the ashes, closing out those things that no longer make you happy. Um, it could be hard things for you to close out, hard lessons for you to have learned, but you're doing it and you're rising up. You are within that water sign of washing away that negative energy and now rising up and being even stronger, more powerful during the month of November. That's amazing. Yeah, see, it's almost like in sync. It's like the, the thorns are starting to break like break away. Things are starting to become clearer. The sun's are, you know, rising up. It's like the struggles that you've been through are about to get lighter. All right. Now we've got the moon and the eagle wanted to pop out, but it was the moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Pay attention to your intuition. Never second guess it. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. If something doesn't feel right, it's not right. There's a reason it's there. Your spirit guides the universe. They use that as a way to guide you and connect with you. Pay attention to around the moon, like the new moon and the full moon in November. I feel a blessing coming your way or a path that's about to open and brings you clarity. And you're about to soar. You're feeling, you're feeling very free. And you're going to take that leap of faith. You've got the strength to do it. Pay, you see that faint rainbow right there? Pay attention to rainbows. I feel... I do. I feel like the stars are aligning. You got the stars within the phoenix. And the stars within the moon. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or an air sign with the eagle. Your spirit animal may be an eagle. You are loved. This energy loves you with everything in them. Romantic, friendship, or forever partner. Awesome. Romantic partner. Damn. Some of you are definitely coming into romance and it's because you focused on the shadow work. All those little cracks within your soul that have been put placed there. Like I said, the things that you've been through that have been hard to leave where they were and to rise up. You've done a lot of shadow work, so the blessings coming your way are well deserved. There is someone reaching out to you for a date, asking you out, wanting to meet up with you, having a face-to-face -face encounter. I love it. Let's see what else. Do I have Pisces in my chart? Nope. My mom and my sister are both Pisces. Door to value. Blessings coming your way. You just have to be willing to open the door or the window and allow them to roll in. All right, in there. Look at this. This is so in sync. 
This one flew out and so did this one, walking away. You just have to open that gate or that door and be willing to step out of your comfort zone. Be willing to walk away from, like I said, anything that has not caused you happiness. And having that faith to step beyond. You may not know where it's leading, but I do feel you're going to soar through it. And Archangel Raphael protecting your heart. You're healing your heart, but allowing your heart to be open to receive this love offer coming in. And it's also the color of green, which is money. So I do feel blessings coming towards you. For some of you, it's going to be a raise, a promotion, a job offer, but an increase in your finances. Yeah, look at this. Four of Pentacles. Increased happiness. Savings. Holding on tight to what you've worked hard for. For some of you, you may be hearing of a birth within the month of November or be giving birth. Or finding out you're pregnant. If that's what you're looking for. All right. The Hierophant. There's definitely a relationship happening here. Three of Pentacles. You may meet this person through work or business by doing business with them. But I also feel the financial, the value coming through and the, the color green of the heart chakra and money. I feel like for some of you, you're being noticed for your talents and your qualifications within a job. And it's like a stepping stone for you for more and to grow higher. All right, let's see. King of Wands. Strong fire energy here, Pisces. So you may have strong fire in your chart. Fire sign coming towards you. Definitely strong fire in your chart. I mean, st strong fire here. There is a relationship happening here. I do feel with the Six of Cups here, you're in distance from this person. It's like you have both have turned your back on each other. But there's going to be a reconnection. It's possibly a gift is given. Um, but they want to come towards you and have a face-to-face. -face. I feel like you both think about each other often. It's almost like you probably wished you didn't think about them as much as you do. This person is thinking about you just as much. I feel the fear of being closed off. It's like they want to approach you, but they fear that you are closed off to what they have to say. And you may also feel that they're closed off to you. But your heart's about to be happy. Yeah, see, the struggles struggles are were real within this connection. What those struggles are, they're going to be different for each and every one of you. But I do feel that since this ending, you've really worked on yourself. Really spent some time healing. You've planted those seeds. And now it's time to reap the rewards of your labor. Yeah. They've got an offer for you. You've manifested what's coming towards you. You've manifested this breakthrough, this offer. And like I said, for those of you in terms of career and finance, an offer is going to be given towards you. You've manifested this. You've stayed focused. You've worked really hard for this promotion raise offer that's coming in and there's the four of pentacles it's time for you to receive two people that have their backs towards one another you are going to reconnect 
All right, let's see what else we can get for you, Pisces. Remember I said all the stars, the star came out, the Aquarius energy came out. So for some of you, you could be an Aquarius. Um, Aquarius borderline Pisces, you know, like the very end of Aquarius, Aquarius season into Pisces season. But I feel like it's a wish fulfillment. And it's divinely orchestrated. This is a commitment coming towards you. And it's leaving you emotionally happy. For some of you, you may even be considering going into business with someone. That's also going to be a victory. You're breaking free this month from the constraints and you're rising above. Because you're so powerful and you're shining from the inside out and you have that strength to heal and move on, that's calling these blessings in. You're opening that door to value because it's you know your value. You know your self-worth. It's time for you to receive, Pisces. You're walking away from those people who do not know your worth, those people that do not respect you or have confidence for the decisions you're making and those things that didn't work out. You're stepping into the unknown, but there is complete happiness waiting for you. I love this. But get ready for a face-to-face -face date. You are loved. Remember, that was the first energy that came out. This energy loves you with everything in them. Could be romantic, friendship, your forever partner. Tears of, jar, tears of sorrow turning to tears of joy. Unexpected coincidence. Happy rendezvous. And it's all because you took back your control and you're moving forward. We all go through tests of faith. We all get knocked down. But it's how long we stay knocked down that makes a huge difference. And you, you got back up. You tipped that peak of the mountain and you rose above. You let things be and you ha are having the faith that everything will unfold naturally and it is. The end of the season. So we're gonna go with the end of November. Pay attention to 222. Pay attention to crows. I had a crow um, really right outside my window one day during a reading. And someone said, it was a personal reading, and someone said, I can't believe you just said that because there's a crow on my windowsill. So pay attention to crows. Pay attention to feathers. But there's someone reminiscing here. You made a lasting impression on this person's memories of you. And they're going to reach out. They want a face-to-face -face with you. And for those of you that it's in regards to finances and career, you're moving towards success and you're being noticed. It's going to increase your savings. Remember, either way it goes, it's divinely orchestrated. U, E, H, R, V, T, I, A, C, S, N, M. The rest are repeats. I almost feel like it's saying reverse and come back. All right. 
So the giveaway for November, two free personal readings. Um, those two people that are randomly chosen will be able to tell me what they want their readings in regards to. Love, finance, career. Leave a leaf emoji in the comment section and make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in the monthly giveaways. You will be still seeing this at the very end of October, so you still have some time to get in that pumpkin emoji for October's giveaway. Either way, make sure you're checking your notifications, the little bell in the top right hand corner of your YouTube homepage, because three people will be hearing from me for the October reading, and that's what you'll always check moving forward with the monthly giveaways is that little bell for Lotus Sutra to be reaching out to you if you're one of the ones that are chosen that month for the monthly giveaway. Um, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. So it is reopened, it is restocked at any time you wanna check that out. For those of you that have complained that's in the beginning that I announced that, did that really take all of 30 seconds? You could have fast forwarded it, but I will try to make other people happy and do it at the end. So if you want to cut me off after the Scrabble tiles, so be it. All right. Each and every one of you have an amazing month moving forward. And I'm sending each and every one of you love and light.